Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to use your climate control in your vet, specifically a C4 Corvette. Right here. I'm going to show you how to use this to diagnose your car and any problems you might be having. So all you have to do is put your key in the ignition, turn it to the run position, and if you have a problem, it'll let you know this will start flashing. So you have to give it a couple seconds. You can also start your car and run your car, and this will start flashing faster. But you can see that started flashing. So now what you do is you hold the fan buttons, the up and down fan buttons down for five seconds. Three, four, five. That pops up on the screen and then you just hit the auto button, the auto fan button, and that'll give you the code of what is wrong. And I'm gonna go show you what the codes mean right now. So basically what this is is like a check engine light except for your air conditioning system. So here are the different codes. I have three, which is the outside air temperature sensor. So it says the, the circuit is open. So that means the connector probably got disconnected. So let's go see if we can fix that now. So the connection is going to be on this side. So what we're looking for is the air temperature sensor. If we go under the car and look in here, you see this right here? That that's the air temperature sensor and what it does is it when you're moving forward it'll calculate the temperature of the air based on a resistor that's in here that sensor could be bad but I just think it's a connector that came loose and so here's the connector right back here Oh, and as you can see the connector is loose which nice and simple we'll connect it so we'll just snap that in so it clicks good that's in there so now we'll go see if that fixed the problem. So it's going to say there's still a problem because it has to be cycled and the way this gets cycled is when the car is running I think it's above 15 miles per hour for, for 30 seconds and it'll try to get the air temperature. So that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to come back. Okay well we're moving forward for I think it was 10 seconds, it wasn't even 15 and it shut right off. So problem solved. So some of you might know how to do that. There's also another trick that's pretty cool and you're going to do the same thing. You hold down the up and down fan buttons for five seconds till the screen changes to the double O's and now you could go and change through different parameters. So I have a table here. There's different parameters here. So for example, um, let's look at a cool one. Vehicle speed, number seven. So now we just go here, number seven, and then we hit auto fan, and then a vehicle speed will show up, and I'll show you that right now. So you can see, you can get your speedometer on there. It says I'm going 15 miles an hour. To get out of a parameter such as the vehicle speed, just hit the auto fan button again and let's check out another one uh, a cool one here is coolant temp but this is in degrees celsius so we're gonna go look for number 16 we're gonna hit the fan button 101 degrees celsius now I'm gonna look at my gauges here that's oil temperature coolant 215 that's Fahrenheit 212 Fahrenheit is boiling 100 celsius is boiling so 215 is 102 degrees Celsius. So that's that's pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other things that you can see. So I'm gonna I'll put this table up in the video at the end so you guys could see it. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do a lot of Corvette videos. I also have a lot of how-to videos with other vehicles that can be applied to Corvettes or applied to your other cars. I'm gonna put up four of my Corvette videos up on the screen and you can just click on them or check the links in the description and that'll take you to those how-to videos. They're very helpful and hopefully they'll help you out.